All right, welcome back everybody. This is XL Tactical and if you're back here, we're doing a one take Tuesday again. Here we're gonna be talking about how to store your ammo. What's your cup of tea? How do you do it? What's it gonna be like for you? So I have two references here and we're gonna get into it. Before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed, please go down there and hit the su subscribe button. If you're gonna find this information useful, go ahead and hit the like button or share it. Uh, but again, we'll do it in a one take. Hopefully we won't mess anything up and you guys get a little bit of information. So how do you store your ammo, right? Do you keep these under your bed? Do you put them in a safe? Do you take them to the bank and put them in a, a safe depository box? Uh, because it's treated like gold. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. But realistically, um, what we're talking about is how do you prefer to store your ammo? So here are two ways that I have them here. Uh, I know you guys really can't tell, but I'm going to try to show you. This is loose ammo, right? It's mixed in a little bit. There's a couple of steel ones. But for the most part, everything that I have in here is 115 grain ball ammo, right? Different types. We got Winchester White Box, we got Herders, we got different stuff. On that particular part, yes, I probably do. I'm doing a disservice. I like to try to keep different uh, types of ammo together. But these are all like uh, not reloads or anything like that. So I try to just keep it to 115 grain um, and it's in there. I do like putting my loose ammo so that I feel that I have more in there. I can't tell you exactly how much I think I have in here but I'm pretty sure it's over over a thousand rounds just in this particular box. Now, what I do do is I put these dry uh, packs, right? These are like, they come in your shipping uh, boxes so the things don't get mold. Well, this takes away the moisture out of that so it avoids rusting, especially here in Florida, it could be very, very humid and it could be a growth for rust. Uh, the other part is, you know, the way it comes. Here's a hundred rounds uh, boxes. And in this particular case, it's a smaller case. I have two, four, six, seven. So 700, I could probably squeeze in maybe two more. So we have four, seven, eight, nine, 900. Um, and that will just pretty much close it up there. Um, the pros and cons to that is, you know, cons is like, oh, I need ammo. What do I need to do? Now, if I have it in the loose pack, now what do I do? Now I usually have to put it in a little bag or something to go with it or load it up on my mag, right? Which is a little bit either hassle-free or cumbersome, right? But that is one way. Or you just take this straight to the range and there's your, your case. Uh, the other part is neatly stacked, right? So if you are going to the range, you grab one box and you know that you have 100 rounds and you put this in your range bag and you're not having to take all these these boxes with you. Um, it's also very nice, you know what what grain it is, how many rounds, when it was. Again, you want to date it, you can put your, your date on the box and you know when you bought these rounds so you would cycle through them if you're somebody that, that buys rounds uh, all the time. Um, I do the same thing here. So when I get those little packs, I grab them and I put them in there just to keep the moisture out. And that's what I would uh, like to do. And then these are just little inexpensive range um, boxes. They do have a seal in there that, you know, holds up over the, the moisture. So, you know, they're not waterproof per se, uh, but it holds in and protects away from the moisture that can build up. That's how I store my ammo. Um, I have different other cans where I do the same thing, where they're different calibers. I'll do it either box or loose. Some of my rifle ones, I have uh, 223 and 556. I keep them separate just to know which one is there. When am I practicing with this? When am I practicing with that? When am I shooting for this video? What am I shooting for that video? Uh, 45 ACP, the same thing. I try to keep those more in a box because I don't shoot that that much. So, you know, if I'm gonna shoot 50 rounds at a time, I take one box and it is, it is what it is. Uh, and then the 223, I usually, not the 223, the 22 long rifle, I keep it as a brick. So if I'm gonna go out there, I take the brick with me and I say, let's see how, I'm gonna, how much I'm gonna shoot today. Um, those boxes are pretty small. So if I really wanted to take out one or two boxes of this, that's 100 rounds. This is 50 rounds, two boxes would be 100 rounds. But uh, I'm intrigued to find out, how do you store your ammo? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, you know, am I doing, is this wrong? Is this right? 
you know, how are you guys doing it? Um, and if anything, uh, do you have this ammo? Have you depleted your ammo? Are you going through it? Are you still finding it? I'd like to know in the comment section below. Uh, but again, thank you guys for joining me on this. Consider subscribing if you haven't. If you have new viewers, which we do, thank you guys very, very much. Make sure you hit those like buttons a lot. Uh, we really appreciate it. And get down in the comment section. I'll answer everything that you guys throw my way. But until next time, see you guys later.